Welcome to Imperial Engineering 101, class. Ugh. Today we'll be familiarizing you with the grand scope of our empire by outlining the major cost and energy specifications of our most infamous weapon, the Death Star. As long as some kid with a bowl cut doesn't blow it up again. I've been brought here from Earth to talk to you about the Death Star as a part of our engineer exchange program. Now first, the Death Star is huge, like confusable for a moon huge. With a diameter of 160 kilometers across, if the Death Star was placed at an orbit about where the Earth's International Space Station is, or 400 kilometers up from the Earth's surface, it would appear in the night sky 45 times larger than the Earth's moon. But I know what you're here for. You want to learn about firepower of drop-worthy magnitude. Remember that planet of rebel scum? Alderaan, was it called? Well, it's all de destroyed now. <laughs> well, how much energy does a Death Star output to cause that kind of destruction? Very basically, we can use an equation that calculates how much energy it would take to pull all the pieces of a planet apart, which depends on the planet's mass and radius. It's called the gravitational binding energy. Using the mass and radius of Earth as a comparison, the energy required to destroy Alderaan would be... A lot. That's about as much energy as the star around Earth puts out over the course of an entire week. And because a Death Star's death beam fires for maybe a second or so, the beam requires about the same amount of watts of power to run. The most powerful laser on Earth doesn't even come close. On Earth, the most powerful laser is found at the Lawrence Berkeley National Laboratory, where they fire a 42 joule laser over 40 femtoseconds to give it a power rating of 1 times 10 to the 15th watts, or 1 petawatt. The Death Star laser is 100,000 million million times more powerful than this. You might be asking yourself, where do we get all of this energy? Well, from hypermatter, of course. Converting matter to raw energy using Einstein's famous E equals mc squared equation, it would take about a Mount Everest's worth of matter just to power one Alderaan destroying blast. All this power doesn't come cheap. Depending on what economic analysis you read, the cost to mine all the materials for a Death Star, to ship them up into space, to put them together, and to pressurize the whole darn structure could be anywhere from hundreds of quadrillions of dollars to tens of septillions of dollars. That's even more than Han Solo can imagine. Well, that's it for today's class. Make sure to do your required reading on how lightsabers work. And remember, no matter what units you use, a parsec is a unit of distance and not time. Why? Because science.